In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the brand new Tesla app and user interface that it started rolling out last night. If you're having trouble getting the new update on your mobile app, uh, I have been told that it works both on Android and Apple, but uh, I haven't had a confirmation from anyone on the Android side. So if you have an Android phone and you are able to successfully upgrade, please do me a favor, let me know in the comment section below that you are able to upgrade. Uh, some folks were having issues on the iOS side where they were able to just uninstall the original app and then reinstall a fresh app from the App Store and it was the updated version. Matter of fact, I did that with my wife's phone. My phone, it updated. I just went to the App Store, hit upgrade, and then it just updated. But my wife's phone, it still showed the old UI. So what we did was we reinstalled the app and, and we have the new UI now. So if you're having that issue, perhaps try that. All right, first thing I notice is right here, the charge is towards the top left instead of being in the very middle. And now there is a little bar that shows up here with the charge limit. And right now it's just 80%, but there's no way to change that to miles unless you go to your car, go to the display of your car, and then change it to distance. Then your app also updates to distance instead of being a percentage. So there's no way to change that from the app. But what is a really cool thing while we're on the subject of charge is that you see there's a slider in the middle here. Now you can slide whatever percent that you want and then you kind of get a haptic feedback while you're doing that. So right now I have it set to 80% and that's what you see. Right here on the top right that is just your information and uh, here there's a Tesla shop you can purchase stuff from here directly from the Tesla. There's your loot box account, your setting and if you go to your account this is where you see your contact info and then you can also see your order history. So if I tap on the order history, things that I have purchased directly from Tesla shows up right here. And then if I go to charging, I can also manage my payment. This is now super easy where whatever payment method that you have a store will be available right here. And then you can manage that payment information. You can now also go to history to see your charging history how much charge you have done in supercharging in the past, it gives you an invoice. So for example, in 2018, I can go ahead and just download that invoice directly here and it shows where I have gone and where I have charged. So pretty neat here. The car graphics just looks much sleeker. It looks really, really cool. The top bar now has your regular lock and unlock. You have your climate control on and off. You can see the air blowing inside that car animation right there. Here is again the charge port. So I just opened the charge port. Now I can close it from here, which is pretty cool. And then just the frunk. Right underneath, you have the music control. So if you have a music playing on your car using the Bluetooth, you can control it. You can play, skip volume control directly from the app. Then we move on to controls. So when I go to control, as you can see, the, the control screen looks a lot better, more integrated than just having a bunch of buttons here on the screen. Like in the past, you still have your flash, honk, uh, remote start and home link on the bottom. But then now the front trunk unlock and then your charge port is integrated in this car's UI. So if I hit the front open, it will open the front and you can see the cool front animation. I'm gonna go ahead and close it, but of course it says open on mine. I have the automatic front installed. And to unlock the car, just tap here. And then again, the charge port, you can control the charge port now. Also, one thing that I noticed is that when the car is locked, uh, it shows as a gray button versus when the car is unlocked, it shows as a white button. So telling you, letting you know that it is active. I roll down the window, nothing happened. The door are animated. Now, if we go to climate, 
One thing that I noticed is if you have a white seat, uh, it apparently shows white seats here. So it knows your car's interior, which is really awesome. So to turn on the front vent, all you have to do is press on this vent icon in the front. So when you do that, you see that the kind of a pinkish air comes out, letting you know that it's the hot air. And if you press on it again, it does not turn off. It just shows that it's just the regular air, the cold air that's blowing through the front vent. And to turn that air off, you just have to press on this power button on the lower left. And it goes off. Now, you can also just press on that power button and you will see that you can have the air blowing there. And if you press on this little two side buttons, you can adjust the temperature or you can just use this slider that is built in to change the temperature. Here you can see the location. Summon, the interface has changed a little bit. Now you can move the target and then just have the car go to the target or you can press on your location and apparently you can just say go to your phone's location. I don't know how accurate that is. Just like usual, you, you can go between the satellite and the regular map. You can press go target and then this is to go forward and backward. In security, you can see that your phone is connected and then the sentry mode, you can toggle on and off. There's a valet mode and then also the speed limit mode here in the security button. Then if I go to upgrade, this is where there is software upgrade and then there is accessories upgrade. So if I click on software update, this is where I can either buy or subscribe to any software such as if I didn't have FSD, I could subscribe to the FSD, the monthly FSD program, or if I can buy an autopilot or whatnot. And right here, if I do manage, this is where I can see everything that I have purchased. So the premium connectivity subscription, autopilot, full self-driving. And here it shows Tesla shop that I can just click on the shop here and then purchase all Tesla accessories directly from Tesla. And what is cool about this is that these are only the accessory that applicable to your car. So model three, these are all model three accessories. It doesn't show any other model accessory, just model three in my case here. And I can also just tap in accessories and it will take me to the same page. And then right here is manage again. This is where I see all the purchases that I have made. I can also like always schedule service directly from the app. It will show me the history of my service. There's video guides and then I can just tap schedule service and schedule the service for whatever needs that I have. Going back roadside has been enhanced a little bit. So for example, here, there is the flat tire, there's charging and whatnot. And if I press on flat tires, I can do either Tesla wheels or tire or then or I can do aftermarket. And if I press on it and go next, it, it actually lets me select which tire is flat, which is pretty awesome. And then here in the bottom, it shows my Model 3, my VIN number, my miles, and then the software version that I currently have. So I think this app upgrade is pretty cool. I definitely like the user interface. Uh, it is more sleek, it feels you know, modern and futuristic. So I definitely like that. Not that the old app was any bad, it just it looks a fresh look. And again, we haven't had upgrade in a while that this is super exciting. I was hoping that we would get a sentry mode viewing from the app. That was something that we have been long waiting for and looks like it is not here. I was also hoping a V11 upgrade, which is not here. Looks like we're gonna have to wait a little bit more. I really hope that when the V11 rolls out, we are able to view the sentry mode footages from the Tesla app. Uh, that, is, that is something I think many people are waiting for and anxious because, you know, the, the car could give you an alarm saying, you know, that the, the alarm was triggered in your app, but then you are super far away somewhere that you can't get to your car. And having that ability to view those footages from directly from the app will be super cool. So I hope that is coming soon. What do you think about this new app? Please let me know in the comment section below. I have super cool Tesla video coming very soon in this channel. So please stay tuned for all of those videos. And as always, reach out to me with any questions. Thank you very much for your continuous support. I'll see you soon in my next Tesla video.
Namaste.